Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. I, uh, I would like to invite uh, IREPAS Chairman Mr. Murat Cebecioğlu to the stage for his opening remarks. Mr. Cebecioğlu. Thank you, Murat. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I would like to personally welcome each of you to the 77th annual meeting of IREPAS in Athens, City of Gods and Olympic Games for our last gathering of 2017. Athens, the city with the most glorious history in the world, a city worshiped by gods and people, a magical city has to be one of the most amazing and inspiring places to visit anywhere in the world. The enchanting capital of Greece has always been a birthplace for civilization. As the capital of uh, the ancient Greek civilization, Athens is the birthplace of so many of the main pillars of Western culture, namely philosophy, democracy, theater, medicine, astronomy, and geometry, as well as the Olympic Games, to name but a few. There is something peculiar about this place, not only confirmed by the fact that some 5,000 years ago, the first settlers came and stayed atop the Acropolis Hill. 1,500 years later, they managed to come down and start building what was the, to become one of the grandest cities of ancient times. The legendary leader Pericles listened carefully when the oracle of Delphi declared that Acropolis must not be inhabited by earthly uh, humans, but instead must be turned into a grand monument of gods. Pericles led the city into its finest hours, building Parthenon and the magnificent Acropolis raising above Athens. Athens met times of bloom and decline, but still shines under the Attic sky gazing the future, still sparkling like the marbles of Parthenon and the limpid white of Pantelic marble. Well, uh, when we met last time in Budapest, we were confident that better times were ahead of us. As we meet now in Athens, the scenario is certainly much better thanks to improving demand in the global long steel products market and decreasing pressure from China. Some months ago, the consensus of steel sector analysts was that steel demand in China would decrease during the remainder of the year, but this is not happening. With strong domestic consumption, of steel in China, the prospects for Chinese steel exports continue to decrease. Ongoing increase in demand raised productivity and utilization rates for steel mills elsewhere. Um, in addition to declining exports from China, overall low inventories, low interest rates, and the cheaper US dollar are also helping to boost the global market. Better economic conditions for GDP growth around the globe likewise help a lot as does the delay in possible protectionist measures by the Trump administration under Section 232. The last quarter of the year is always very challenging, but we believe the outlook for the next quarter is very good as long as there is no surprise from China. Um, increasing prices and a solid supply demand balance combined with low inventories have given everyone reason to believe that the strength of the price levels will be sustained up to Christmas. I would like to thank each of you for attending our conference and bringing your expertise to our gathering. You as organization leaders have the vision, the knowledge, and the experience to help us pave our way into the future. You are truly our greatest asset today and tomorrow. And we could not accomplish what we do without your support and leadership. Throughout this conference, I ask you to stay engaged, keep us proactive, and help us shape the future of IREPAS. We are absolutely delighted to be in Athens, and we hope that this meeting will signal much better days to come for our industry. My personal respect and thanks goes out to all of you. Thank you.